It took me a while. I, got, I cut my teeth in the fisheries world working in a fish hatchery, and when I first saw a fish feeder on the side of the pond, I thought, ah, it just looks like a hatchery. But being in the industry and being around a lot of people that were smarter than me in this world, come to realize the benefit of these things. It's, it's, you're not creating an artificial fish population. You're supplementally feeding fish when you need to. They're eating, but they're not eating really heavy right now because there's so much other food in the water. So they kind of come and go as needed. And we'll see smallmouth bass, for example, during the spring when we first start, if the food is low, they'll, up here, they'll come up here and eat a few pellets and go eat some other stuff. But then um, they've been away from the feeder. They might come back a little bit in the fall, but it's fish kind of come in and go out um, as they need to supplement their food source. So right now, this is kind of a good sign because we know how many fish are in here. We monitor it extensively, but because the feeding activity is a little bit low, it tells me that the, the lake's probably full of food, which would be typical for this time of year. I think, too, that probably one of the most important things about a fish feeder is, even for me, even beyond feeding the fish and getting that supplemental nutrition in there, this is another giant attractant for families and visitors and even the kids. People just absolutely love it just like how we were standing here and it totally took our attention when that feeder went off and we started watching the fish oh, yeah. feed. This gets people excited. They come out and the kids love to come and grab an extra handful and throw it out there. And it's, an, it's a chance to see the fish, you know? You can't fish watch like you can bird watch, but if you throw some pellets out there and watch the fish come to the surface, all of a sudden you're getting to see some of that action, whether or not you like to fish with a rod and reel or not.